If you are hearing this, it's a message from the past and from the future. I kind of always played with the thought of like making 80s inspired music, but I didn't think anyone would listen to it. It's got one foot in the past and it's got one foot in the future as well. And if you're somewhere in the middle, that's probably what I'd call synthwave. I mean, I only knew like maybe six bands. I didn't think there was going to be, you know, hundreds of other guys in the next few years. Human nature. We want something and we want a ton of it. I just got the feeling that they think it should be like a closed club, that no one else can come and make this stuff. That's ridiculous when what we're doing is a homage to the 80s. You ain't inventing this stuff. We're hidden. Nobody knows how each other looks like. No one has to know who you are. It's people that just want to do this for the sake of doing it and maybe not for recognition. I didn't expect Synthwave to be as influential on mainstream things as it has been. It'll get bigger to the point where it'll all fall in on itself and it'll be super uncool again, but how long do we have? <laughs> Maybe five, ten years? Are we good going? My name is John Carpenter. I'm here to introduce you to a world of an unknown music movement you've probably never heard of. <laughs>